Hi guys, welcome to Virgin Mama. Today I am going to be making a strawberry crumb pie. I wanted to do this on Sunday, but my youngest, I tell the, the whole spirit is so wonderful. I was getting ready to make my pie crust and everything. And I, the rock, the Holy Spirit told me to go down and check if I have any strawberries down there. Because I have strawberries in the fridge. Went down there, no strawberries. I knew who did it. I knew it was my youngest son. <laughs> the later ones were like, Mommy, were you going to use those strawberries? I'm like, yeah, I know it was you. But, um, <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using very simple recipe, guys. These are some organic strawberries. If you can't find organic strawberries, get, get yourself some ozone water. They sell this at Food Lion. They have the machine, but if you could get the water, that would be good. So get yourself some ozone water, ozonation water. Put um, baking soda, let it soak like for 10, 15 minutes. And that will get rid of like most of your pesticide, guys. So um, organic strawberries have some, I'm using some earth balance, soy free earth balance. My sugar. And I'm going to be using this for my gluten free flour. This is a King Otto. Well, this is a five pound bag. It's much cheaper. I got this from BJ's. Well, this thing was eight nine nine, which is much much cheaper. So this is all the ingredients I'm going to be using, guys. So I love. This is one of the things I like like about um, cooking. I like to um, put ingredients together. So I'm continue watching, guys. I already have one cup in here. So I'm going to put another cup. Two cups of flour. With half a cup of sugar. Around. Next, I'm going to get the butter. Three four cups of butter. You butter to be um in the fridge. Hard butter. You don't want it to be room temperature. One, two. Okay, three four. Okay, then I'm going to crumble it up the butter in here so I'm going to finish this and show you guys what it looks like okay. okay so what I'm going to do at this time next I'm going to just put some of this put the crumbs at the bottom and you could do like an open face one but I'm going to do like crumbs at the bottom crumbs on top spread it out I'm just going to spread this out evenly then I think I'm going to make some more to put on top. I will see if I have enough. So let me spread this out and I will show you the next step. So guys, I finished putting the crumb in the, um, the pie dish. What I'm going to do at this time, I have this much left. So I want to spread it evenly on top. You know, a lot of crumbs on top. So I'm going to put, I'm going to add one cup of flour more and... Maybe like one third cup of butter and one third cup of sugar and put it in here, mix it up together. The so method I'm gonna take this up, put it in a container and do it a different batch and then put all of them together. Okay guys, I'm gonna put the um the flour in here. And another thing if you have um if you're not allergic if you're not allergic to nuts, you can put it in here also, a cup of nuts. But I can't have nuts guys, so I have to put the um I have to just use the flour. I have some tiger nut, but I didn't soak it, so I'm having the tiger nut flour. So, that's the sugar. I put it in there. And I am going to put the recipe in the description box, guys, so it'll be there. So, I'm just going to mix these up together and then dump the rest back in here. Once again, I want that, that um, coarse cornmeal consistency. This is a nice um, summer gluten-free dessert. You can serve this, guys, with um, 
a nice cream on top. So I'm just gonna dump this back in here and just mix it even together. Okay, so let me just clean up and continue washing that. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do next. So guys, so I'm ready to put the filling inside in the middle. I'm going to put the crumb on top of it. So like I said, I'm going to bake this for 350 for half an hour or till it's um, golden brown on top. So guys, the pie is finished and I'm telling you, it's delicious. So um, you can serve this with um, whipped cream or any um, you know, whipped cream of your choice or eat it just like this. So hope you guys um, try this recipe share this video and subscribe thanks for watching